Waters here. Here's another process video using the November kit Canyonlands. I wanted to incorporate this craft die cut. I thought it was really cute with the bubbles. Um, I am a bit electronically challenged, so using the silhouette is a bit of a challenge for me. So I love being able to just cut these out on the cuddle bug and be able to have cute little die cuts. So here we go. I loved all of that little circles and I, I thought I was going to punch them all out and keep all these circles for something. And I realized I was going to put my photo over it so I didn't need to punch everything else out. So it's kind of like a little photo mat. It's going to peek out of the corner of my photo. I love all of these papers this month. They all spoke to me and I didn't want to use up too much of anything so you can see I'm really conserving. So I decided that this pattern with this die cut was going to be the dots I used so I didn't care that it didn't fit completely over the paper because I knew I just wanted those little circles. I'm just going to put them to the side. And this was just a little iPhone photo. came out pretty small so I chose to Scrapbook with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. This pattern I'm cutting here reminds me of little pebbles. And even though it matches the photo color wise, I mean, black and white and black and white, I loved it. Just felt like it's the ground and it should cover half of my page. So with the sticker sheet that comes with the Canyonlands kit, I used part of the edge on another layout, so this was my leftover piece here. And I knew we needed to add some color, so here's some leftover strips from the sticker sheet. I ended up using so much of that sticker sheet, I barely had left much to choose from when it came to this layout. I find that when I'm, this is my last assignment, when I do the kits, so I always have to mentally save a bunch of supplies because as I'm creating for reveal, I might not have enough product left to work with. And this was sort of the case this month because I loved so much of it. I'm just going to tuck that into the corner there. So we've got a little bit of green and pink against all the black and white. These leaves to die for. Just going to crease the middle a little so it gives us a little dimension and texture. So cute. It's actually very California because we don't get a ton of colorful leaves here. And I love that little here stamp so I did make a mental note to save that, that sticker I meant as I was creating for reveal. So now here's the fun part. I'm just going to start adding little bits. Apparently I got hot, took my sweater off. <laughs> and I'm going to add these circles that were left over from that die cut. And here's another little scallop, adding it to the pink. And just a little bit of stamping. The sentiment in this stamp is really cute with the whole city, home, forest. So I'm just going to use a little house right here to enforce the home sentiment. And then this is a little scallop. Matches the pink strip down under the photo. Rearranging. Always rearranging. Just a little bit of hand journaling up on the top. We wanted to outline the circles. Um, couldn't decide where to put these letter stickers. In the end, I just put them right there. I love Jasmine's handwriting on this text paper. wanted to incorporate it a little bit, so 
trim the bit off and put it right there for the scallop. A little more journaling, and that's it. Thanks for watching.